Hi everyone, I'm Barb in the Wildlife Department at the SPCA. I'm here to talk to you about nestlings and fledglings. These are baby birds that maybe have fallen out of the nest. In particular, nestlings come out of the nest. And it's okay for you to pick up a nestling and put it back in the nest. There's this myth out there that if you touch a nestling, that its mother won't care for it. Well, that is absolutely false. In fact, birds have a horrible sense of smell. Um, they will definitely take care of their babies. So nestlings, if they fall out of the nest, please do put them back in their nest. Fledglings are those birds that have come out of the nest, but they need a couple of days to get their wings and get strong enough to take off. So they might be nearby their parents, which who are still taking care of them, but they're not going to go far and they might appear injured. If they're not in a safe place, you can most certainly pick them up, put them under a bush, put them in a safe place, and they're fine. Leave them alone. Don't bring them in. Let them get their wings and let them find their wonderful, happy life in the wild. Animals you shouldn't touch are rabies vector species. In New York State, that is specifically raccoons, skunks, and bats. Unfortunately, if you see a baby raccoon, please don't touch it. If you touch a baby raccoon, it is very important that we get that raccoon tested for rabies. And the only way to test that raccoon is to look at its brain tissue. And unfortunately, we have to euthanize that animal. So when you touch it, it does die. Now, you might think that's horrible, but rabies is a deadly disease, and our health department and we do not take that lightly. So please, if you touch a baby raccoon or if you know someone who has touched a baby raccoon, it's super important that you call the health department. But let's avoid that. Let's let these baby raccoons stay with their mother. So please, don't touch raccoons. Don't touch uh, bats and don't touch skunks. As we know, it is very bad to touch any type of rabies vector species. However, there are some animals that you may commonly see in your yard that it is okay to touch temporarily. So of these animals, one that is one of the biggest animals that we get in, tons of them, are cottontail rabbits. So it's very common that you may find a nest of baby bunnies in your yard. It's typically gonna be about this big. There'll be some dried grass and bunny fur, and if you uncover that, you'll see a bunch of little bunnies squirming. So what happens if you have a big event at your house, a party or something like that? What you can do, if it's just for the day, is take the bunnies out of the nest, put them in a nice quiet area in your house if you've got a nice little container where they can be safe. You can tuck them away for the time being if there's gonna be a lot of activity and then put them back after the activity has ended uh, because mommy rabbit is only going to come once at dawn and once at dusk. So if you take the bunnies away during that time, it is perfectly okay. They're not gonna miss any feedings but I would always advise you with any wildlife to wear some sort of gloves. The risk for rabies in cottontail rabbits is very low. However, there are always gonna be the risk of fleas or mites or something like that. And you don't wanna get scratched by these animals either. So just keep them in a nice quiet place. They don't need any kind of food or water from you. And then you can put them back for the rest of the evening and mom will do the rest.